The OraQuick Advanced HIV 1 and 2 antibody test is a manually performed, visually read immunoassay for the qualitative detection of antibodies to HIV 1 and HIV 2 in human oral fluid. This video will demonstrate the steps to perform this rapid diagnostic test. We will demonstrate the oral fluid procedure. The first test we will be performing is the oral fluid procedure. The materials needed for this test, which are included in the OraQuick packet, include the developer solution bottle and the test device. Additionally, you will need the reusable test stand. The first step is the specimen collection. Ensure that prior to testing, the subject has not had anything to eat or drink or chewed gum for at least 15 minutes. Have the subject wait for at least 30 minutes prior to testing if they have used any oral care products. Remove the device from its pouch. Do not touch the flat pad. Check to make sure an absorbent packet is included with the device. If no absorbent packet is present, discard the device and obtain a new pouch for testing. Place the flat pad above the patient's teeth against the outer gum. Gently swab completely around the outer gums, both the upper and lower, one at a time using the flat pad. Do not swab the roof of the mouth, inside of the cheek or tongue. Both sides of the flat pad may be used in this procedure. The next step is to conduct the test. Insert the flat pad of the device all the way into the developer solution vial. Make sure the flat pad touches the bottom of the vial. The result window on the device should be facing towards you. Read the results after 20 minutes, but not more than 40 minutes in a fully lighted area. The next step is to interpret the results. A test is non-reactive if a reddish purple line appears next to the triangle labeled C and no line appears next to the triangle labeled T. A non-reactive test result means that HIV-1 and HIV-2 antibodies were not detected in the specimen. The test result is interpreted as negative for HIV-1 and 2 antibodies. A test is reactive if a reddish purple line appears next to the triangle labeled C and a reddish purple line also appears next to the triangle labeled T. However, one of these lines may be darker than the other. The test is reactive if any reddish purple line appears next to the T triangle and next to the C triangle, no matter how faint these lines are. A reactive test result means that HIV-1 and or HIV-2 antibodies have been detected in the specimen. The test result is interpreted as preliminary positive for HIV-1 and or 2 antibodies. A test is invalid if any of the following occurs. No reddish purple line appears next to the triangle labeled C. A red background in the results window makes it difficult to read the result after 20 minutes or if any of the lines are not inside the C or T triangle areas. An invalid test result means that there was a problem running the test either related to the specimen or to the test device. An invalid result cannot be interpreted. Repeat the test with a new divided pouch and a new sample.